Okay, Helion Interactor. Hmm. The Elliot Bank is a no-brainer here because all the other preludes suck. Let's grab early settlement for now. Okay, this is for sure not a Helion hand. Looks like Terrector all day to me. Um, but it also doesn't look too strong. So let's go with Terrector. Allied Bank and Early Settlement, I think. We don't need any more starting capital. Um, so loan will just set us back economically. And society support, of course, is absolute trash. With early settlement, we at least have a city. If we want to go for Maya, maybe we want to play Phobos Space Haven as well. And we have a building tech for Builder. It's definitely more useful than these two. Quiet Company for sure, really good with Director. And with this starting hand, I'd pick up these two. Mm. I'd pick up Media Archives because we have so much starting capital and nothing to do with it. And this will be pretty strong in the late game where we get a discount on it. I'd pick up Phobos Space Haven, I'd pick up Mineral Deposit. Other than that, I'd probably pick up Artificial Photosynthesis for the Power Prod. Uh, if we find Power Hungry cards, we can play that. Um, and it's a science tech if we need that later down the line. If we go like this, we will have uh, 60 minus 21, actually minus 18 because of Allied Bank. So we will have 42 starting capital. Uh, 42 minus 25 is 17, right? And then we play, oh, we can play Vesta Shipyard instead of uh, Forward Space Haven first gen. Then we play Quiet Company as well. Get some prod. Hey Elia, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I hope you will enjoy it. This is Grand Finals, so it's now or never. Not a particularly great starting hand. We have some development, but uh, no card draw. Looks like an engine setup. We have no target for mineral deposit, but I'm surely not picking up solar power. That card is just dog shit. And magnetic field dome, of course, as well. Uh, what are we picking up with early settlement? Either Pavonis or Ascreas, I think. I think I'll go with Eskris because I want the card. I have not many options here. Thanks, and I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. Yeah, thank you for the good luck wishes. Okay, let's go through this again. Uh, we don't need loan. We're surely not picking Helion with this hand. We're picking Allied Bank and Early Settlement. Pick up these cards. We'll play as Vester Shipyard and the Quiet Company first gen. We put early settlement on the card and hope to find some card draw. Restricted area would be insane. But I'd even take something like Business Network, Inventors Guild, all that kind of stuff. But yeah. We need to find card draw basically, that's it. Playing Saturn Systems. Then the rest of Shipyard is kind of. It's a lot of heat prod. That's not the card I wanted to see.
He picked up eight cards. Oh my god, Marzio. Okay, Marzio first gen. That's bad news. Sponsors, okay. Some development. We definitely played this. Do I play Wester, which is cheaper for me? But also gives them one money prod, or do I play four with Space Haven? I think I'll play four boss here. No, I don't know. I'll play this eventually. Um, because we also have satellites, and if we got all of these three cards down, then satellites will be worth it. So let's just play it now. It sucks to give him one money pro, but yeah, we're committed. Why no release of inert gases? Um, I think that card is just subpar. Uh, it costs nearly the same as like Vesta Shipyard, which I played just then, and Vesta Shipyard already isn't too great, it gives you more development. And the Shipyard I mainly picked up because I can combo it with satellites. That's it. I will wait with playing satellites. Okay. Solar Wind Power is pretty nice. I don't want to give him that. He has Mars you down. Uh, and we can easily play it and combo it with satellites and Phobos for some great money prod. These, these other cards, like Indenture is also quite strong and Open City is okay. I mean, he has one Steep Prod, so it's not too, not too bad for him. But he will probably pick up Indenture and then we just cut the Open City. Do we go full psycho with strip mine here? I think we go full psycho with strip mine. We pass him the Trans Neptune probe back, which is quite sad because that's a really cheap science tag for Marsu. But we have nothing to do, and we can play artificial photosynthesis plus strip mine now, and then we just are rolling on banker. Um, but I don't think we can fund banker yet. Uh, he is maybe going for Jovians. Yeah, not Banker. What am I talking? Miner, of course. But we're going full circle here with uh, Strip Mine. He kept Lava Tube Settlement. That's very interesting. Okay, I will definitely keep the Indentured Workers then. Um, that's a really good card for me now because it makes the Strip Mine so much cheaper. Um, maybe he's scared of. Maya, but I haven't played the Phobos yet, so I don't know why he would be scared of Maya here. But we pick up 9, we go down to 38. Uh, we play this for 12, we have 26 left. And we play Mineral Deposit, Strip Mine, which costs uh, 20. So we have 8 left, I think. We can we can play it um, with Indentured Workers as well. And maybe we can then also play something else, but I think... These are just the three cards we pick up here. Um, strip mine will also help maybe get build around. So let's play. Do we do indentured into photosynthesis? And then we can do mineral deposit into strip mine. Yeah, I think that's that's what we want to do. And we pick the power prod. Do not misclick again. That happened to me a few games back on stream. That was that was a funny game. First gen, I wanted to play that for power prod, and then I played it for plant prod. That game was just a shit show. I misclicked like a t ten million times. It was crazy. Picked up quite a few cards. Robotic workforce on Martian Industries. Interesting. Okay. 
That's quite a good card for him here. Quite good value, and then he also gets to discard and uh, draw with a cards, okay. Looks like his starting hand is also not too great. He does that now. So we do mineral deposit into strip mine. So economically, we're set up. We have a really good economy now. We need card draw. We desperately need, need card draw. 14 cash left. I think we won't play anything else here. Um, yeah, we won't play anything else. Can we play solar wind into satellites? And would we want to do that? Uh, solar wind costs five. Yeah, we could play it. But I'd rather get the focus down as well. Yeah. Watch me draw a development center now, next gen, and then regret not playing it. Nothing else here. Yeah. We got card draw. We got card draw. He will hit us with um, Sabo. Maybe he will also pick up Lunar Beam for even more heat prod. Jesus. Walking Christ. Um, two science ticks. Kinda scared of passing him back gene repair. But also kind of scared passing him the Jovian multiplier. He has already two Jovian tags and some titanium prod, of course, because he's Saturn. Um, all of these cards are pretty good. Water import is the worst for us because we're not going for Jovians. Not against Saturn. I guess we could. We have titanium prod. Um, I, I think this is the most dangerous for him, so let's cut that. Let's cut, do I also want heat prod? I don't think so. I think Lunar Beam is just overkill for him, right? But he also doesn't need the fuel, so I cut Lunar Beam. Let's see what we get back, Immigrant City. Uh, I'll probably pick it up. Mm. We can just place that, go for Maya. So do we now want to pick up that water import? That's our third city to get our Phobos. Um, and it's the cheapest one you can get. Do we want to pick up the Jovian mold? If we do, we go down to 34. We play this for one. Let's say we play it for four because we also draw a card. So we go to 30, 39 with um, the titanium. We play this for five. Thirty, forty. We could sell fusion power, get all of these cards down. But no immigrant for Phobos, but I guess that would be okay. Just play the immigrant later here to claim that good spot over there. And then there's only a bit of real estate left on the map. I mean, I didn't place that city center. So there's actually a lot of real estate. And we, we don't know yet if we will keep a card with this. So yeah, I think I'll keep these three. It's the worst Jovian multiplier in the deck, but. We are, oh my god, he's keeping a lot of cards. Looks like he's going for planner. Yeah, it's definitely going for planner. Um, yeah, I mean, I have a route to mayor now. Uh, maybe to builder. Yeah, I don't have any building tax on hand except for immigrant city. Oh, research outpost goes over here. Yeah, that sucks. That's a really strong card, and that's why he kept Gene Repair as well. He can play that now. 
I mean, not now. He doesn't have the money for it, but... Oh, yeah. I forgot he has Sabo. Oh. That's stupid. Heather. I mean, everything... My, my complete plan went down under, so we can pick up Heather here as well. It's an okay plant card here, because um, he has so much heat. And we have cities, so plant cards are good. So now we just play... Yeah, more heat. I think the headers pick up was definitely right. Uh, I could do solar wind into satellites now, and forego the one power, uh, the one money prod I get from Phobos. Or we pass and do it all next gen. One money prod more, but we lose three money. So after three gens, does this game go to gen 7 easily? Yeah, I think we should delay it. Anything about awards here? I don't think so. So let's just pass, I guess. I completely forgot the uh, sabotage, but I couldn't have done anything about it anyways. Um, keeping one more card there in the draft wouldn't have mattered, or one less. That's mining area for sure. Um, yeah, 100%. Really good. We could place it on per bonus. Herbivores. I don't need the power, he doesn't need the power. It's Herbivores. Herbivores is the best one in the pack, anyways. Cut the plant tech. I guess we can pick up Lycan with Herbivores in hand. This gen we can play everything we want to, easily. Uh, place mining area here, and then I'll probably go here with Immigrant. Let's see if we can play everything. Look at the card first. Lightning Harvest. I don't know, this is a stretch. Don't need that. Oh, well, going full miner here. <laughs> but he also has three prods, so I'm not confident on funding it. Just needs to play like Astrid Mining, which he totally could as Saturn Systems, and then he's uh, on par with me. Close Raison Builder. So we have 49, 53, plus 9, that's 62. Um, 62, this costs 5, so we have 57. 57 minus 13 is uh, 44, 44 minus uh, 25 is... 19, right? And then we play satellites and we still have money left. Okay. So let's open with solar wind power into immigrant. Where do I want to go with the immigrant city though? I could nerf this ocean walk and place it here. I have no plans to. Yeah, I have plans to go to work in the near future. Could also go here. So that I can ocean walk down south and get more more plant rebates over here. 
Thanks, Cam Kirk, for following. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the stream. I could also go down here to get the good ocean rebates and also potential card draw. I think I like this spot best. Okay. Passes. So we play Phobos. The satellites. Now we need even more card draw. We need to find steel targets and we need to find titanium targets because we don't have any. Action. Uh, wow. Okay, this is protected tabs for sure, but it's really scary to pass in my mining industries. How much titanium does he have stored? Three titanium. Uh, yeah, it's got to be protected tabs, right? Too scary in 2P. It's also quite late for iron mining industries. I'd still play it because I have a Jovian multiplier on hand. Maybe he'll pass it back to me because... He would rather take mangrove with all that heat. If he doesn't take mangrove, I will take it all the all the time. But yeah. Let's keep protected types. I'll cut the bumper. I don't want him playing a bumper. Um he hasn't he doesn't have any plant prod. I have some at least, and I have herbivores, so I don't want him playing a bumper. Shuttles is also quite strong, but yeah. Yeah, he kept IO mining. Makes sense. I'll keep the mangrove all day. Really, really good card. So now we know we can't pass him any more Jovian tags. Uh, but I don't know if he will keep it. He, he can play it this gen. He definitely can play it. So we play protected tabs this gen. And nothing else if we don't draw anything with the, with the business network. If he increases heat twice, which he should do, yeah, he would probably do that. Then we can play Lycan as well. And then we're set up really well with plants. Two plant rod already done. Just hope he doesn't destroy my plants now. My girlfriend just brought me some food. Yeah, there he goes with the heat conversions. I like that a lot. Um, so let's look at a card. Uh, I guess we could keep it. We don't have any more power prod. We have fusion power. We can't play it. Um, don't think we have any power tags for fusion power. And we have Steel Prod, so I guess that's a keep. Also, we don't have anything to do other than that. Now let's play Protect the Tabs. Uh, I'll wait until this food has cooled down a bit, and then I'll eat. I came here straight from work to play, so I haven't eaten anything yet. Yeah, 25 people watching right now? Holy fuck. Jesus Christ, guys. I really appreciate it tuning in. Really appreciate it. He kept enough money to play IO Mining if he wants to. Yeah, there he goes. IO Mining activated. <laughs> okay. Is there a rush to pick up Maya? Not really. He can claim planner, but nothing else. And I will see Maya coming from a mile away if he wants to go for that. So I will at least delay it for one more gen. 
and just play Lycan here and then I'll probably just pass. Uh, there's nothing I can fund, right? No, he should probably fund Thermalist now. If I had funded Miner earlier, just speculatively, then I would have had to keep uh, IO Mining there. But by keeping IO Mining, I probably would have won Miner as well. He kept the power plant, okay. Then he brought now, interesting. Yeah, that's it, but pass. You need to find more card draw. Not enough cards to play with all this uh, prod. This is a really good pickup. Um, he will probably keep Colonizer training camp now because he has a Jovian multiplier. Then I get to keep push, which is pretty strong here because of all his heat. He could also keep Equatorial Magnetizer as the last card then, because that would probably not be too bad with all his power. But AMC is really strong here. Let's keep that. Maybe you will also keep Fish because of all his all of his heat, heat, and then I can easily pick up um, Colonizer Training Camp. Permafrost extraction. Yeah, he kept the colonizer training camp. I'll keep the fish. Let's see what we get back. Probably mine. It's absolutely useless. I could keep it as a card for builder, I guess. We're still in the race for that. Race. We're creeping along. <laughs> He's also creeping along there. Yeah, mine. I think I keep all. We just play mine. Nothing much to do. We play AMC, that's gen for sure. Um, we could also try to aggressively go for Gardener here. We can convert once on Asia. I will not convert. We can buy a standard project on Asia and then convert once on the card. But I don't think that's necessary. I think we go for Mayor and then maybe Builder. He's also not threatening a second milestone, really. Only build up a little bit. I'm sorry, guys, but I need to eat a bit. I hope it's not too distracting. Oh, gross. Mm. Honestly, why not? We have a lot of cards with high restrictions. And we have a lot of money. He will claim planner now. Hit him with it. Of course. He gets money brought from this, which maybe could even be beneficial for him. Because five to, uh, four titanium prod, he probably doesn't need that much. Now I could honestly think about Miner again. 8 prod versus 5. But then it's a, it's a game of who finds more, more tags to play. If he finds none, then he will easily win it, because 8 versus 5 is not that big of a difference. So I'm not really sure on that. You could also fund Landlord. With mangrove, heather, some plant prod and protected heads. I 
I think I'll just claim Maya for now. And then I'll probably pass for this gen. <clears throat> we need to find some titanium targets, some more card draw. Hmm. Even more power prod. Maybe as physics complex. Commercial district. Here. Up here. That's interesting. He has lava tube settlement. Does he want to place lava tube settlement up here next to his own commercial district? I would find that really confusing. Even more building tags. Yeah, he's going for... Okay, he's got builder and planner now. I mean, if we find a plus one card... No, we can't. We need to find a plus two card and there isn't any. Yeah, he's got planner and builder now. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I don't want to pass him advanced alloys. I mean, what the heck. I would love to get that business contact, man, but yeah, I can't pass on uh, advanced alloys. Also good for us, but we don't have any targets, so. Oh, there's a target, and advanced alloys has the science tag for it, so we definitely keep this. Dust seals is okay. Maybe he will keep mining expedition, forget that I have advanced alloys, and I can pick up dust seals and just play that for the, for the point. Hmm. Wave power or NR, NRB. Both not too great. I guess wave power has more potential. Let's keep that. He needs to buy three cards now to get. Um, yeah, we got the dust seals back, guys. Nice. That's what we want to see. Um, do I want to keep wave power? We have windmills. If we need power. It's not going down anytime soon, though. We have nothing to play. Let's keep it. 15. Does he have card draw? Hmm. Yeah, he has he has business contacts. I'm an idiot. I just passed him that. <laughs> yeah, there's business contacts and there's planner. Okay. Hmm. Look at the cop. Yeah, that's not a keep. And let's draw a card. Nice. We will be able to play 
had out this gen together with um, adoption tech, adaption tech. I mean, more plant prod is always great. There goes gene repair. <clears throat> Keep well heating. Okay. Um yeah, let's get adaption tag and header down. Really subpar cards we have here, but well, you're playing what you're getting. Mm, wave power? No, I don't think so. You could play a wife and just start placing oceans. It's not too bad after advanced alloys. And we get some plans to get greeneries down. I actually like, like, like that idea. We don't have anything to do with our titanium for now. And we don't have a lot of card draw. Can place the first ocean on titanium, I guess. Ah, we don't need titanium. We have five titanium prod. That's 20 cash per round. That's more than enough. Let's do that. And let's start with the ocean. Do I want a card? If I grab this then i can then i go up to seven and i can do another yeah i grab plants here then i can next gen do it again and convert here which is pretty nice that's it livestock or trees we already have a one point animal i think it's trees if we pick up trees, I think we are pretty well set up for Landlord here. We can play that at minus eight, which is pretty soon. Yeah, definitely trees, I think. Also, he has no plant pot yet. Um, hmm. What the hell did he keep? These three cards are coming to me. I think it's nuke zone. Gets us to trees faster. Then we happily keep Peter card that's coming back. Mm, let's cut the cheap one. Don't think he's playing Solata so that I know. Way too late for that. <laughs> and he's got so much heat prod. I'm keeping birds. It's a bit speculative since he doesn't have any plant prod. Ah, do I want to keep birds? Maybe not. I mean, I don't have any combo potential for it. I just have fish already, which is way better. But we can play it pretty soon with adaption tech. If we do, we go down to 31. What do we do this, John? Really nothing to do. Play Nuke Zone. Hope he does two steps to enable trees. He doesn't. I think we can keep it. It's a bit of gamble, but if we draw a viral, then it's easily worth it. Do I look at the card now? Yeah, I think I do. That's a really good card to pick up. Uh, and then I think I'll skip because I want to do Ocean Nuke Zone here first. And I want to cycle that, uh, not cycle, I want to sequence that 
Uh, so get up. <clears throat> I could find uh, I should have found that landlord probably. He funds an award right now, I'm pissed. That was stupid. Research, oh my god. That's four cards. Do I fund now? If I don't, he will just straight up fund Thermalist, I think. He has no plant tags, which means insects in an area are dead for him. I have nuke zone, I have protected helps, I have trees on hand. I think I found landlord. And I already have a sizable lead on him. Skip again. Of course it's risky. Still quite early in the game. I mean it's Gen 8, but the parameters haven't moved that much. But I think we're quite well set up for Landlord. And he has he just has the easiest fun on Thermalist ever. Maybe I'll also play Big Asteroid, just to enable trees this gen. I think that's actually worth it. If I play it, I can, if I play Big Asteroid, I can play trees. But maybe he will do somehow another heat step. I, I doubt it, but maybe. Decomposers. That's a bit concerning. I'll grab the money. I'd also like the card, but I'll grab the money for now so that he doesn't claim that spot. Hyper, hyper. Exactly. Here can was no richtig was learn. How much is the fish? I mean, it's pretty clearly 9 MC. You see it right there. Actually, with... Jesus Christ. Oh man. Danke. This Prime Abo. I love it. I appreciate it. Okay. This game is pretty close still. So there goes one heat step. Mm. I doubt he'll do another one. If I play Big Asteroid though, I just set him up for getting that a bonus bump next gen. <sighs> do I want to do it? Getting trees down would be massive. Grant me another greenery next gen. I mean, I could get another greenery just by doing my ocean action, right? But for landlord purposes... No, it's a best of three. So, first one to win two games. 
is the winner. I think I'll do it. Destroy his one single plant. And then we'll play trees. Gets us to fish sooner as well. Only problem, he still doesn't have any plant prod. But I mean, he has played um, decomposers. So that makes me think that he wants to play some plant prod still. Because like 90% of the cards that trigger decomposers are plant producing cards. All three games tonight, probably. You think you would have skipped birds? Yeah, but I don't have that much to play. I have so many resources. I thought I'd just play it, uh, take it. Also, is a it's also an insurance on landlord because it can easily um, deny one greenery. Towing. Okay, interesting. Sucks that he plays that now, of course, after I played Big Asteroid. It's as if, as if he had known. Uh, I think it's past time here. Pete, <laughs> you come in here <laughs> and start trash talking immediately. It's always the same. I love it. Thanks, baby, for the follow. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the stream. Look at them go, guys. Lava tube settlement up there, as I predicted. Okay. Biomass combustors. Next turn we can play um, herbivores, which is really nice. These cities are interesting, yeah, exactly. I mean, this city I had to play because I only had really bad preludes, so this was early settlement. Mm, I picked up the card because I had only trashy starting cards. And he placed a research outpost here. And then I played immigrant city to secure mayor here. And yeah, you see this. Man, thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, what do I want to get here? Convoy is a titanium target, but I already can place oceans as much as I want. Um, Arctic algae still activates on five oceans. It's actually not too bad. Pretty strong for landlord. I think I'll go with Arctic algae. Let's see what he picks up here. Wait, we can actually play Martian survey still if he doesn't. Increase oxygen. And I mean, he doesn't have any plants, so. But how do we actually want to do that? <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Uh, 
Yeah. Ah, yeah. I, uh, Elia, no advice. I, I read your message after I picked it up. Obviously, yeah, I can't play it anymore. That was really stupid. I always forget that there's a restriction on Arctic algae because normally you play it so early on that it doesn't matter. And that was really, really stupid. I should have picked up Convoy. Yeah. Um, I can pick up, I could pick up Electro Cat. But Martian Survey is actually really good for her. Ah, no, it's not really good for him because he can't play it. Yeah, I'll pick up Electro Cat. I have so much seal. And I have wave power. Yeah, he has Convoy. It's annoying. Do I care about pets or processor? I think I cut the bumper again. I don't think the pets will score any more points here. Or well, not not a lot of points. And the bumper is also quite bad. But does he have steel? He has some steel. And he has absolutely no plan prod. Would that be a worthy investment for him? Uh, yeah. It's true. I shouldn't have read that in chat because maybe I would have been stupid enough to buy it. So yeah, please no advice. Now I probably won't buy it. <laughs> uh... He has decomposers. Let's cut the pads. Martian survey got back. I'll pick it up and maybe he doesn't increase oxygen and then I can play it still. Uh, I have so much money and I have so little to do with it. So let's do that. No pets, I think. Just electro cat. Yeah. Uh, so much is happening right now. Outside of the stream as well. There goes Thermalist. He probably should have picked that up earlier. Should have picked that up like in Gen 4 or so. Shouldn't have let me pick up uh, Landlord. Search for life. Absolutely viable for him because of Marzio. Mm hmm. Play Martian Survey. Ganymede Colony is top tier here. Four points. Titanium Sink. And we also deny it from him. That's perfect. Artificial Lake, also really nice. Steel Sink. Really good pickups here. And then, of course, there's the odd one out. New Power, which is quite useless here. I mean, if we find more. Now, nah, we have. We have wave power and we have windmills. I don't think we need more power prod. Not just farming. Still no plan prod from him. It's quite annoying. I would love to get Herbie was down here. I don't need to convert. I can convert next gen and get the bonus bump with it. Because I've protected tabs. Let's get Electro Cat down. Zab was already out, so our steel is safe. I mean, semi safe. He could still play Raiders, but that wouldn't be the end of the world. We would still have some steel left to sell. Shuttles. Uh, let's sell a card. 
Oh, not a car, but sort of steel, I mean. I could do like one ocean with the wife ability here. Then I could do um, permafrost here. And then I could um, play artificial lake here. Yeah, he's one actioning, that's true. That's and one action as well. He wants to see if I do a heat step or an oxygen step, I guess. I won't plant my greenery this gen. If I place these oceans this gen, then he could play kelp farming if he has it. But actually, I'd probably prefer it if he played kelp farming because then I can play um, birds and herbivores. So let's do this. AGT. Oh, this is bad. Minus three on all cards now. And ten points in lead. Not a good combo. He doesn't have any continuous card draw, but he has Marzio. Still need one science tag for ICS, right? Uh, nice, there's algae. Okay. That's really good for me. Now I can play herbivores and fish when it comes online. I think, do I want to do artificial lake now? Artificial lake now would get me up to... Yeah, I want to do artificial lake now. It gets me up to 14. And then I can convert here and here to get the bonus bump. And we'll play herbivores. Hit us plant pro. Insects. How many plant tags? Three. Okay. So now we can also play birds later down the line. Um, so now it's conversion time. Wait, I could have converted here. I'm such an idiot. I forgot I had nukes on there. Oh, that was so bad. I give him the bonus ocean for free now, but that means I can also play fish. Yeah, he grabs it. Yeah, very odd placement. You're right. I should have placed it here. Actually, you're only uh, you're not allowed to do. I give really bad advice because that could turn out as good advice because then I do know what not to do. Um. That was stupid. Holy crap. Fish now. Do I want to play Mangrove now? It would only enable his livestock if he had kept it. So probably not. We can still play that next gen.
He's still in the lead on Thermalist, right? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking about the points right now because it's quite close. Mm, that's it for this gen. Ah, no. I can play Mangrove now because there will be an Oxygen step next gen for sure. And playing it now will just give me um, more development, I guess. I could also draw equal zone still. Yeah, and that's not playing now. That one MC probably won't matter. Yeah, that's it. Not to city for sure. Do I threaten? A banker with cartel? No, not at all. So it's Noctus. These are both dead, so red suits. Not a great pack from both of us. I mean, I don't know what it was in his um, first one. What about Noctis? Do we want it? We don't have any steel targets. Uh, I mean, fusion power is a steel target if we need to play it to get ICS down. I guess we can keep it. We can play it together with wave power. Uh, red suits is probably in bad. A nine four point is really bad. Let's look at the card. You have one on hand. That doesn't matter. Picked up scientist. Yeah, I should have thought about picking up Maya here more. Get scientist for free, basically. Because as it turns out, I have nothing to play. I should have played it on the card, probably. If we play Noctis City this gen, we can play, uh, we can convert another greenery and then we can get birds down. And that's probably what I'll do. More card draw, more science text for Marsu. Let's do that. Does he have an urbanized area? That would suck. But either way, I'm doing it. That's not great because if I just play wave power, then I'm in the danger of getting hit by a tapping. I mean, 
power su tapping is probably a really bad idea for him because it's a negative point, but power supply consertion could still be out there. And he certainly has a tag for it. Transneptune probe, yeah, we passed him that really early on. It's a really good card from here. Let's convert in between the cities to get maximum points. And let's play birds and hit them. Nothing else to do here. Really nothing else to do. That's really sad. Can he end if I... Well, let's just skip here for now. But the question I'm asking is, can he end if I pass? Uh, hi, Spice Boy. No, this is not the OTML. This is the Board Game Dungeon Tournament. Board Game Dungeon being a website all about board games, and they organize the tournament. And that's the tournament I'm playing right now. And this is the finals. Thirty cash left. Five titanium. Sell a card for now. This is one actually. Like consistently. It's really annoying. I should also start just one actioning from the start of the gen. Methane from Titan. That signals to me that this game doesn't end this gem. Yeah. There's no way in hell. Four heat steps and two oxygen steps with 22 cash and no titanium. It's not happening. So basically, we need to draw a TG uh, or a large convoy next gen. If he can end here, then obviously I lose. But even if I had played like Ganymede Colony, I would have still lost. He's miles ahead on Scientist, right? Yeah. There's no chance of us flipping any milestones, uh, any awards. Everything's set in stone on the award side. I won't lose the landlord to him, but he will also win scientists and thermalists, so yeah. Here's Kasma. Also quite strong. That's it for us, John Bromley. Science text. Viral Enhancer so good as a still. It's really bad for us. Um, and he just played his animal. Only five cards in hand. I think it's Lagrange over Viral Enhancers, honestly. It's a titanium target. It draws a card. Um, if we hadn't played birds last gen, then it would be Viral Enhancers. But like this, it's Lagrange, I think.
And this is the only relevant one. This one is dead and this doesn't do anything. What was the other one? It was. Oh no. That might it might mean that he has TG on hand because he kept research coordination. Or he just wanted to deny it for me. Or he thinks it's relevant for scientists, but that makes doesn't make no sense because that these are science texts involved. Viral, but we won't keep it. There's no reason to. Just Lagrange, I think. Does he have any microbes? He does have microbes. I could keep like viral plus ants and then eat one of his uh, decomposers, but that's just that's just ridiculous. You obviously won't do that. Um, yeah, just Lagrange. Oh, if he has TG, then there's no hope left. No hope at all. One plant conversion and one heat conversion. Okay. Game ends this gen for sure. So, can he take the last oxygen step here? No, he can't. So then let's just go about our business here. Obviously, we keep that. And we won action. Because he won action all the time. This is pretty boring, we all know that, but well, it's just how it goes. Sixteen titanium left, that's sixteen times four. It's a lot. It's sixty-four cash. So we can easily play these two after we played Lagrange. Still have titanium left. Of course, he has more science tags and more card draw. Now it's time for Lagrange. That's not bad, actually. That's three more points. And it's for free, basically. Um, I'd probably do 12 plants. 14, 16. I need to keep like, I need to take like these two spots. Um, oh, this one. That one can get another greenery down. I don't have anything to, like, my only, the only cards I need to play here are like these three. I can pay for those with, oh my god, yeah, he won. There's no way I win this after this card. Seven points. I'm 23 points behind, yeah, there's no way. Uh, yeah, 43 cash still left. Question is, do I help him end or do I force him to do the greenery by a standard project? If he does it by via a standard project, then <coughs> he gets the last oxygen bump, meaning my greeneries afterwards will score one less point, but maybe that 23 cash he uses on that standard project would be better spent on the seven cards he still has on hand, so I probably don't help him end. So let's play Callisto.
it's good. Callisto was actually not three more points, it was four more points because I actually already have a Jovian multiplier. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. There's no way I get to twenty-four, right? Okay, you just place that for the cycle and draw. Let's play Interstellar. Skip. I still have so much cash. Breathing filters. Strong one as well. Let's play Ganymede. Skip. 12 points behind them. But I only have standard project left now. I don't think I can score 12 points where I stand up projects. Next up, we start selling. We have two cards to sell. Then we play investment loan, then we play media archives, and then everything is out. And then we do stand up projects. Cities and greeneries all day. Man, if I had gotten that large convoy, then I would be quite certain that I win. But with him getting it, that's unlikely. <clears throat> yeah. I could have denied him that livestock. It was my decision to pass him that. He's one point animals, man. Sometimes they can just make you win. Standard tech. Interesting. How many greeneries is he intending to play? I mean, it's draws some two cards, so I guess that makes sense. We are like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was just thinking, so, like, is the science text still relevant? <laughs> and then I look look at this. <laughs> nope, it's absolutely not relevant. Jesus Christ. Eight texts behind him. Earth office. Okay. Man, oh man, we can still sell. New power. Skip. How many events? Eight events. And I played six seven after this so this will be plus 10 which is quite nice so we will get plus 20 from these two even more if he still plays more events but that's unlikely yeah buys the last greenery so now he has 15 cash and two steel left to do whatever he does Yeah, the only thing I was thinking was, can he score better with his remaining money? If he has TG on hand, he can't play that anymore now.
but I'm I'm glad for your um, tip here. I will think about that in future games. Yeah, if you consider the points that I lose as well, then yeah. Okay, that was the nail in the coffin, imported hydrogen, but it was already lost, I guess. Let's SP. Where do we SP? SP here, three point city, and then SP green over here. So there's no cash left, but 15 points. I can't get 15 points with so 72 cash and only standard projects. Man. What's that, by the way? Okay. Um, let's do the city and the greenery here. Uh, yeah, at least one. This game is best of six. Uh, this final is be uh, best of three. Not best of six, Jesus Christ. This final is best of three, so the first one to win two games uh, wins the final. And this is just the first one. So there will be at least one more game after this. Mm, I guess I'll I guess I'll grab a card here and see what we draw. Urbanized area. <clears throat> Should have done that earlier. Yeah. You're probably right with that analysis emphasize. Yeah, that urbanized area sadly is unplayable. I mean, I could play it here. <laughs> Um, so it's just one more greenery and then this game is over. Right. No money for anything else. So greenery here. Or here. Here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's just place another greenery. And we will place one final greenery with our plants. And get the Herbie was up to a nice and even 10. But he will also place one more greenery. So he will end up with 115 points and I will end up with 110, I think. So urbanized. Yeah, I should have um, converted on the card. Uh, first things first. Try to find a good card to win this game with. Yeah, I mean this decision here to place the greenery here was a complete blunder. I just forgot that I had nuke zone here and could have placed a greenery here. So that was absolutely stupid. So we lose by five points. Yeah, I needed I needed some conversions up here to get some more plants. 
But yeah, I was thinking about this spot here for a city. But I think in the end it didn't matter that I placed the city here. Okay. GG.